Can you help me figure out the Amana and Goodman Furnace E2 error code? After the LED segment 2 shows you E and the segment 1 shows the 2, the PS1 open message scrolls by. That's not much more information than the E2 error code. The E2 error code on an Amana or Goodman Furnace is the error for a low stage pressure switch stuck open. So what do I do about a pressure switch being stuck open? If the drain tubes are full of moisture or obstructed with dirt or calcium type buildup, that can prevent the pressure switch from tripping when it should. At least cleaning the drain tubes is free. So is checking the air filters to see if they need to be replaced. Listen for the blower motors, too, since the pressure switches exist to make sure the furnace gets enough air to run. So I may need to take out the inducer motor and clean that, too, if they are so clogged by dirt that they can't spin. Or the fins are missing and not generating the pressure change the system is expecting. Or it needs oil. However, the system can't tell you that's the cause. Not when there are so many possible reasons, from a clogged air intake to clogged filters to shut down blowers. Instead, it gives me error codes that look like they should come up during a bingo game. You risk a system lockout if the pressure switch problem prevents it from coming up after multiple tries. That's the E0 error code. You could take out the intake pipe and see if the unit still runs, in case a crimped or clogged pipe is the problem. That's dangerous. It can still get air if you take off the tube and let it draw in ambient air. It is running the unit without a pressure switch that is dangerous. Assuming the issue is the pressure switch and not the connectors or wiring. You can check the pressure switch with a multimeter to see if the problem is actually the wiring to the pressure switch instead of just replacing the switch. And if all the connections read right, I'm back to replacing the pressure switch. If the root cause is a lack of airflow, you can get all kinds of errors. For example, lack of airflow to distribute heat can cause both the pressure switch and high limit switch to activate. If it errors out like a blue screen of death, I'm not crawling through the ducts or replacing parts hoping to fix it. I'm calling for tech support, I mean a repairman.